Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video. So I had an interesting discovery in the last couple of days uh, working with one of my customers on his Tandy 1000 TL3. Turns out the cable on those has not only the normal Tandy 1000 uh, pinout for the floppy drive cable, um, but it also has the Tandy 1000 HX pinout. The one closest to the motherboard, this one here, is the normal Tandy 1000 pin out, not the HX, whereas that one, furthest away from it is the HX pin out. Anyway, in this video I'm going to hopefully show you how to actually check your cables yourself so you don't blow up your equipment. So what you will need is a multimeter, here's mine, and some of these little guys. So basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to find out how the cable is wired and it's a good idea that you do this before you um, you know plug your uh, computer into uh, to your adapters because you could blow it up a lot of the Tandy 1000s have 12 volt and uh, you will destroy them so what we need to do is uh, get some of these little connectors shove them in there like so um, actually and do the same thing here so we're going to do the notch side so just roughly in the middle you only need about four I've got more than I need uh, and again on the notch side okay so now what we do get the uh, get two ends to start with and our multimeter make sure it's in continuity mode and we just simply need to touch to both ends and see what it does. Okay, so there's no beep there. All right, but if I go to the other one, let's see if I get a beep there. Sorry, filming and camera. It's actually a lot harder than, it, than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, nothing okay that's good all right so that's actually just confirming I've got that in the, the wrong one I just wanted to make sure so that motherboard end should be there okay opposite the notch so if I come back to the one closest to the main board so in the middle of the cable and check it oops yeah, just confirming my multimeter works nothing there okay so that's confirming that that's there's no ground there but here we're getting ground so if we look at these two this is the motherboard end that's fine that's where that's supposed to be and this is the the one of the drive connectors so as you can see that is opposite the notch and that's where that's supposed to be so that means your normal Tandy 1000 adapter that I sell will work just fine however if we go to the other end so this is so leaving the motherboard pins where we were so motherboard pins opposite the notch and in this one we can see also um, right next to the notch just check this one Okay, this is fiddly. So, as you can see, these two connectors, if I orient them around the right way, you can actually see that one connector, the ground pins were the ones closest to the notch, and on the other connector, they were the ones furthest away. So if your ground pins on one of your floppy drive connectors show up as being opposite the notch, that's the HX configuration. If they show up next to the notch, that's the standard configuration. Okay, so just confirming all that again, if your ground pins for your floppy connectors are like so, and it really doesn't matter which pin you check because they're all joined in these ones. So 
Ground pins opposite the notch means your floppy drive is using the HX configuration. Pins next to the notch means you're using the standard 1000 configuration. So just make sure though that when you're checking the motherboard side that the pins are opposite the notch. So that, that is the motherboard end. Uh, pins are always going to be opposite the notch because it's reversed. Okay, alright. Thanks guys. Appreciate your time.